Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can import Outlook emails into Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. You can choose to import all of your Outlook emails to Gmail using a dedicated email import process. This will only add historical emails, however, plus any emails received in the next 30 days in your Outlook account. To import any emails into Gmail, I need to go into the settings section in my Gmail inbox. I'll move my mouse to the top right of the inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one I'm interested in is the cog or gear icon for the settings section. Let's click on that. A panel then opens that shows some of the more common settings changes you can make in Gmail. But we need to go into the details settings of Gmail. So I'm going to click on the see all settings button at the top of the panel. A new window then opens showing a number of heading tabs, but the one we're interested in is accounts and import. Let's click on that once to open it. A new page is then shown, and if I move down that page a little, you'll see a section called import mail and contacts. I can start the Outlook mail import process by clicking on the blue import mail link. My window then opens that asks me to enter my Outlook email address. I'll quickly do that and click on the continue button to move on to the next stage of the import process. Gmail then checks if the email I entered is valid. Depending on your Chrome settings, you may get a pop-up blocker or error message at this stage of the process. Don't worry if you do. Check out the Woggle guide shown above that explains how to solve this problem. In my case, I have pop-up blockers turned off in Chrome, so Gmail now asks me to confirm if I want to proceed with the login process for Outlook. Click on the Continue button to do that. A new window now opens, presented by Outlook, which asks you to enter your Outlook email address once more. I'll type this to add it and click on the blue Next button to continue. This displays a password entry page. I'll quickly add that and click on the blue Next button to continue. I'm now asked to confirm that I agree that the import process for Gmail can have access to my Outlook emails and contacts. You must confirm this in order to proceed with the import. To continue, click on the blue Agree button. Gmail confirms that the Outlook authentication process was successful. I can now close this tab. Finally, Gmail asks me to confirm the import options I want to use for Outlook. I can choose to import all my contacts and all my historical emails. I can also choose to continue to receive Outlook emails in Gmail for the next 30 days. I am happy with all those options, so I'll click on the Start Import button to begin the import process. Gmail then confirms that the import process is underway and can take a number of hours to complete. I can now also close this window by clicking on the OK button. You'll see that my Outlook email address has also now been added to the Import Mail and Contact section of Settings. It's worth noting that you can also link your Outlook email account to Gmail so that you can receive the latest copy of your Outlook emails in Gmail. To find out how to link accounts, check out the Wago guide shown above that explains how to add an Outlook email account to Gmail. I hope you found this Wago guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.